Hi, I'm Chris Martin here at the new Martin booth at the NAMM show in Anaheim, California, the day before the show begins. And I want to talk to you about what we've done with the standard line. Let's go this way. That affects Okay. It's a lefty. You're not you're not looking at things backwards. A couple of years ago, our dealers said you have too many models. And we said, what do you mean? Let's talk about the D18. Sure. We've got the D18. Yes, we do. You've got the D18 vintage. Yes, we do. You've got the D18 original. Yes, we do. We've got the and, and they said it's too much, it's too many. And we said, all right, we need to contemplate this input. We can't ignore it because they don't, they don't want to buy more of the D18. And if we don't do something, they might buy less of them, fewer of them. So we said, other than the authentic, why don't we consolidate some of the best ideas of the different versions of the D18? This is what we came up with. Most of them are right-handed. And we sold a lot of them. So. Shortly thereafter, people started saying, well, should we do that with the D28? And I thought, yeah, it's complicated. D28 is a little more complicated. Dick Boak, my colleague who just retired, kept saying, no, Chris, it's easy. We just put scallop bracing on the D28 and we're off to the races. I said, Dick, wait a minute. We have a guitar with scallop braces that's like a D28. It's called the HD28. He goes, yeah, I know, but you know, back in the day, the D28 had scallop bracing and, and herringbone trim. I said, yes, Dick. But in the meantime, I think we've established two different brands. So let's go this way. So after last year's NAMM show, this discussion was going on. And I thought, all right, it is time to do something. And it's time to do something for the summer NAMM show. What I suggested we do is modernize the D28. Everybody's like, yeah, Chris is ready. He's, he's, he wants to go. And so we're sitting in a room and I said, this is what I want to do. And everybody said, great. And the next person said, well, this is what I want to do. And the next person said, this is what I want to do. And the next person said, this is what I want to do. And I'm like, wait, stop, stop, stop. What are we talking about? And they said, well, we're going we're gonna to consolidate all of the best of the HD28 and the D28 into one model. I said, no, we're not. And they were like, well, why wouldn't we? I said, because and this, I began to think about my father and my grandfather. I began to think about what, what they were dealt with after World War II. And it was a challenging time. America comes out of the war. Soldiers come home. Demand picks up. We don't have any herringbone trim because it was made in Germany. The, and we had stopped scalloping the braces. We had stopped scalloping the braces before we ran out of herringbone trim. So they made a D28 without herringbone trim and without scallop bracing. They created a model that over time has a following. And I said, that's the guitar I want to upgrade. And it did take my colleagues a little while to kind of figure out what I was talking about. And they kept saying, but, but Chris, we need to upgrade the guitar with the herringbone trim and the scallop bracing. I said, of course we do. Hold that thought. So at the Summer NAMM show, we introduced the upgraded, modern, but also very vintage D28, and it sold really well. In fact, we had an initiative to get one in every Martin dealer around the world, and we accomplished it. So, hold that thought. Here we are. All of the rest of the standard line now upgraded so that in some sense they look old, but they feel very modern. And if you want herringbone trim, you get scallop bracing. It's a very simple formula. Does it have scallop bracing? Is it a rosewood guitar in the standard line? Yes. Does it have herringbone trim? Yes, it has scallop bracing. Hope you enjoy it.